Hello and welcome to the studio. I'm Chris Kent and this is the third in my occasional series about voice acting and poetry. And today I'm starting my studio day with a poem by the American poet Mary Oliver called When Death Comes. Mary Oliver who just died in January of this year. And I'm working on it because it's one of the poems I'm including in a recital of words and music with the Bridge String Quartet which we're giving in London this weekend. Mary Oliver is a, a wonderful writer with a natural conversational tone in the manner of an, an earlier poet, someone like Robert Frost, say, or even perhaps Walt Whitman. It's deceptively simple and also surprisingly upbeat for a poem ostensibly about death. The first 20 lines are made up of just two sentences with multiple subclauses, five of which begin with the word and, so it presents quite a few challenges. It's almost as though the ideas are, are tumbling out one on top of another. And in fact, a lot of its effect comes from the use of repetition and of particularly of simple phrases like when death comes at the beginning of the poem. Repetition can often be quite challenging for actors and sometimes, dare I say it, for inexperienced directors who can make the mistake of thinking that the answer is to vary a phrase each time it comes, whereas often it's the sameness that is exactly the point. It often helps as well to know a bit of background about a poem. As I mentioned, Mary Oliver died just this year at the grand old age of 84. But in fact, this poem dates from 1990. So it's not really a poem looking back. It's not a poem written at the end of someone's life, as far as she knew. And in fact, she would have been the age, uh, roughly the age I am now. So really, it's a poem written by someone in full possession of their powers, thinking about how to live life as much as what might lie beyond it. And I guess the point she's making really is that none of us know how the end will come, when and what will be required of us when it does. So really we may as well make the most of every moment in the meantime. When death comes, like the hungry bear in autumn, when death comes and takes all the bright coins from his purse to buy me, and snaps the purse shut. When death comes like the measle pox, when death comes like an iceberg between the shoulder blades, I want to step through the door, full of curiosity, wondering, what is it going to be like, that cottage of darkness? And therefore, I look upon everything as a brotherhood and a sisterhood. And I look upon time as no more than an idea. And I consider eternity as another possibility. And I think of each life as a flower, as common as a field daisy and as singular. And each name a comfortable music in the mouth, tending, as all music does, towards silence. And each body a lion of courage and something precious to the earth. When it's over... I want to say all my life I was a bride married to amazement. I was the bridegroom taking the world into my arms. When it's over, I don't want to wonder if I've made of my life something particular and real. I don't want to find myself sighing and frightened or full of argument. I don't want to end up simply having visited this world.